What's up enthusiasts? It's Monday. We've got some packages from the P.O. Box. More than I expected, honestly. I anticipated one of these, and that's this one that I am uh, somewhat excited about. These other two, though, are mysteries to me, so I am, um, I'm curious and I'm excited about this, so let's, let's get on into it. Let's start with this one right here. I know where this comes from. I am very, uh, curious and looking forward to messing around with this and this let's get into it first i'll show you instead of telling you because that's always more fun i'm glad this is here because i need some things for some future videos that these will be good to do or to to use for all right, we've got ourselves a whew, all right, nice little, let's read this. Love your channel, been a lifelong nerfer myself and recently have been sharing my love for flinging foam with my two boys. That is absolutely awesome. I'm an engineer and love creating things. I made some fun nerf targets for my boys and I to shoot at when we're not chasing each other around the house. We had so much fun playing with them that my wife suggested I try selling them. For now, I'm selling some basic targets that have interchangeable bases, but I'm working on some more advanced designs that are self-resetting and have the ability to play sound effects. You can check out my designs at my Etsy store toy targets listed below. I hope you enjoy shooting these targets as much as myself and kids do. I've sent you a combination of some of our most popular targets. I've included both XL zombie targets that have been 3D printed and standard size. I also included some laser cut wood zombie targets. Ooh. Finally, I have in also included some of our round 3D printed ones as well. All of our standard targets have interchangeable bases. The XL targets require larger bases. Let me know your thoughts. I am excited for these. Offer still stands making a custom target. Ooh, we, uh, we may have to have a custom target made in the future. Thanks for time. Andy Hyde at Toy Targets. Thank you so much, Andy. I am super looking forward. For some reason, unfortunately, this is super blown out. Um, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up on the screen. Etsy.com shop toy targets. Let's put that up. Thank you for the nice letter with the description of everything. Let's pop this open though, because I am Ooh, that's whole oh, that is hefty. Okay. That is bigger than anticipated. Alright, this is this is very exciting. I gotta look at these big ones first. My goodness. Let's throw, let's throw stuff on the ground. I'm excited. So you just got these little tabs, it looks like, on here that will just slot into this base. Super easy. I like that. I like the branding. I like the branding toy targets there on the uh, on the bottom. And uh, it just pops right up. Oh, I dig that. I dig that. Shoot it, falls over. Now, I assume... I assume it's supposed to go this way because the branding or the, the branding's on the front. However, that may make it harder to knock over, so maybe it goes the other way. Maybe it goes like like this, with this tab out here, and then that way it falls more easily backwards. I don't know. But we got some of those yellow as well. And that's in. So we got a couple zombies. And we've got, oh my goodness, he has wooden zombies. That's so ridiculous. Okay, these are so cool. So these are, are, are wood, laser, like cut wood. That's a super nice texture and feel. Like if you like something a little bit different, that is definitely a little bit different. It feels a little more classic, uh, a little more like what I would play with on my kid. There's, there is the, the branding for you. Uh, we'll leave that card right there. Let's put the wooden ones in the red base. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these. Boom, boom. We've got like an, a little army of zombies here and then smaller 3D printed ones. Even the smaller 3D printed ones are a decent size. I'm pretty impressed with the, the size of these. These are something that I feel like I could hit with a, with a blaster and we're gonna, we're gonna test that. Now, we've got some smaller ones for some of our more uh, precise blasters. Let's go there. We've got that little, little one right there and then somewhat bigger so like if i was taking shots with the caliber that's what i would be trying to hit the other ones like a strife i'd probably go like this you know stuff that's not quite as uh 
heavy duty, I guess, or, or as accurate at long range or powerful. But these big ones, that is a sizable amount of target space and I absolutely love it. So that's those. Those are super exciting and I'm very much looking forward to those. Thank you to Toy Targets for sending these my way. There will be a video on these uh, on their own in the future. So once I get some time to mess around with these, those will definitely, definitely be featured in their own review to let you know my full thoughts on them. Now let's move to the next one. I don't know, I, again, I have no idea what this is. No idea whatsoever. So let's, uh, let's find out here. Okay, what's the best way to get in this? There we go. Before we, before we even look at what that is, let's read this letter, yeah? Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening. Hope the day finds you well. Wanted to send you a note thanking you for all your great Nerf news. Your channel is great and love your content. Wasn't sure what items to send someone who has a great collection already, so I, I kept it simple. Wishing you all the best. Ryan, Michelle, Greta, Gabe, Thunderdome, Minnesota. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for the kind letter. I really, really appreciate that. Love, love reading things. Oh, oh, someone knows I like patches. Oh, baby. Rebel Coo. Oh, I do like some Star Wars stuff. All right, so I got myself a nice koozie now for uh, for my drinks. This, this is what I'm excited about right here. You all know I love patches. And that, ooh, that is a nice patch. That is a really nice patch. Oh, I cannot wait to put this up on the patch board. That is just, ooh, that is fantastic. And a bunch of stickers for random stuff. We got some... We got some operation, some money, some light bulb ideas from Monopoly. All right, so we'll have some fun with these stickers. Thank you so much, Thunderdome, Minnesota. This is absolutely awesome. I love, love this patch. I'll find some random things to put the stickers on, and uh, I'll find some ways to keep my drinks cool with your koozie. Thank you so much. All right, now the last, but certainly not least, package is this I don't I don't know what is th it's so long it's so long what do what do it says cut here so we're gonna we're gonna uh, just, just shake this down just make sure and we'll cut here oh let's not cut ourselves we're cutting here I really really hope I'm not cutting into whatever it is that was sent Okay. Oh, oh, that cut line was perfect. Oh my goodness. Whoo, whoever drew that cut line, you, you, you brought it down to the absolute, the absolute bare minimum. All right, here we go. Pull that off and we've got, got some packing material. I think, is that a, that's okay this is all taped together letter some pvc okay let's read ourselves the letter Urrah. let's see what do you got in store for me oh what was a patch i'm not gonna look at the patch yet not gonna look at the patch yet I'm going to leave that anticipation. Dear Jangular, hello from Michigan. Allow me to introduce myself. I am known as the Jack of all tri trades. I almost said triads because I saw the I in there and assumed triads on YouTube. Uh, trades is a typo for trades, but I kept it that way for originality. Hey, that's one way to differentiate yourself. You probably know me better by my Twitch name, Metalman5204. What's up? You're probably wondering why I sent you a PVC pipe. This is in fact one of my blow guns that I made for Elite Darts. Don't worry, I didn't use this one. Appreciate it. Um, and you know, blow, blow pipes uh, are not something to share. Uh, so I now, I now have a blow. Ooh, I have something I can mess around with. The patch was given out on the 
uh, Michigan, Midland, Michigan. I am so bad at reading, apparently. My apologies. League of Nerfers Facebook page that one of the local Nerf War hosts puts together during the fall. Its purpose is to let people know of Nerf Wars that are around the... Mitch... Michiand? I am so... Okay. M-I-C-H-I-A-N-D. Michiand. It, mu it must be Michiand. How have I not heard of that? I failed at geography. I hope you like the patch. I've been ho hosting Nerf Wars at my church for about three and a half years. The last war I hosted was on New Year's Eve and had a record-breaking 60 people. That's a solid game size. Got through nine battles in about five hours. That's also a really good number of games. And everyone had a fantastic time. I'm glad to hear that. One question I like asking, in your opinion, what makes a great Nerf War? Uh, there's actually a video that, I, by the time you're seeing this, talks about that, and that is the people that go to the Nerf Wars. That is what makes them great. It's the community aspect. Thanks for everything you uh, everything you do for the Nerf community. Keep up the good work. God bless from the Jack of all trades. Jack, thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful letter. I am so... It is Michigan. It's got to be Michigan. It says Michigan right there. Of course, it's blown out on the screen. You can't see it. I've been holding this piece of paper up for you because I didn't realize that I lit this poorly. Uh, so it is Michigan. My apologies for saying... Mi for being bad at reading. Thank you so much for the wonderful letter. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, that's absolutely awesome that in Michigan you have games breaking 60 people and just having an awesome time. So that is awesome. If you're in the Michigan area, check them out for sure. Let's take a look at this patch. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Oh, I'm sucked. So we got we got two patches to add to the patch board. I got a blowgun and I got some sweet targets. This this has been a fantastic, fantastic day of opening things. I am kind of blown away by not just the, the things that you say, but the kind words from all of you. It really like it blows me away. I I, I just I really want to emphasize that. It is the people that make this hobby great and this community great. That is what what keeps people going, keeps people going to games, is the people they meet there. The community aspect, the fun we have, all of that is such a huge, huge part of what we do and why we do it. And I hope that wherever you're at, you can find a wonderful community to help make your own. And uh, just, yeah, thank you so much, all of you, for these packages. I was not expecting... Uh, this much stuff in the P.O. box, but I am absolutely thrilled to be able to share it in video with all of you. So, with that said, if you do want to send anything to the P.O. box, the P.O. box is down below. Thank you so much again to all of you. Uh, let me know what you think of these toy targets, of the patches, of the blowpipe, all of it. Let me know. I am super curious to hear your thoughts, and uh, I'm going to go mess around with this stuff because I feel like a kid that just got a whole bunch of new toys because I kind of did. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button, and, and um, I'm going to go play with some toys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.